Okay, so today's our, I mean, Saturday night, and it's also the uh, lunar observance. This is our Patimoka day. And uh, it's also just a little, just a little a bit over two weeks left in the retreat. So it's a good opportunity to be uh, just reflecting on making good use of, of of our time. Winter retreat time is 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 very precious. You know, to have three months that we devote to Dhamma practice, meditation practice, um, quite in, in in quite a focused way, is very pre- precious. And during the the year, we have various other, you know, projects, duties, responsibilities, um, and uh, it's easy to get distracted. I mean, we have three months of winter retreat, and it's easy to get distracted. So, so it's. Uh, um, but to to really make it uh, make it conscious and and to to reflect on the you know, the preciousness of this uh, this time, really try to use use the time skillfully, and to really turn our attention to. Contemplation and considering deeply uh, how to really turn the mind to Dhamma. Because that's, uh, I remember a turn of phrase that Lumpa Sumedho uses of the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, that they say, the Buddha seeing the Dhamma. Um, it's like these, these, um, you know, so that the this this quality of mindfulness of 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 awareness of wisdom, seeing the way things truly are, um, and you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to us conceit to conceive of me seeing truth and realizing realizing the true nature of things, but. Um, the the reality is is the true nature of things is around us all the time, um, and, uh, and and we just have to shed the kind of of various ob- obsessions and obstructions uh, that we we get entangled with. And so to, and then it's it 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 it's, it's as, as we say in the chanting whenever we, you know, the dhamma is apparent here and now. It's 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 it is. Um, this is the true nature of things, and it's available. It's here to see. Uh, on a certain level, nothing is hidden. Uh, other than the uh, <laughs> other than the mess we make of our own minds, uh, so <laughs> uh, which is you know, wonderfully multi-dimensional, but uh, so that that turning our attention to to the into the tools that the Buddha gave us, and I think one of the really important tools, um, and there there are so many um, and tools and teachings and, and ways of practicing, uh, but uh, in the uh, Satipatthana, of course, which is Rich with, uh, with with tools, but the uh, contemplation of the elements uh, is a uh, to me is a really important 
practice or way of tool for for reflecting uh, that helps cut through the the uh, you know, various delusions and entanglements, and in particular the the uh, just the way that we get get so caught up in in the uh, in the story of me, uh, the perception of me, um, that sense of uh, the sense of self, the sense of I am this body, which is is really the uh, um, you know such a fundamental delusion. Um, the uh, and of course that's exactly what the Buddha points to as the first fetter that 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 uh, that falls away when in in, in say seeing understanding them entering the stream of dhamma that sakaya diti um, that, that identification view and of course the the big identity is this i am the i am this body and of course, it's, it's not restricted to that because I am this body, I'm this, these feelings, I'm these perceptions and memories, uh, these thoughts and moods, I'm this consciousness. But, but uh, 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 of course, the, t- the, the tangible one uh, uh, is this, uh, I, this physical form. Um, that we that we take and and as 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 me and of course it's it's of course it's the physical form but it's also the the associations and it's like uh, how we perceive uh, our our how we imagine uh, I would say our our uh, sense of ourselves and of course we. We look in the mirror and, and we keep reaffirming that this is me. Um, of course, it's not anybody else, but um, you know, this is me. Um, but to reflect on the nature of the body, reflect on the the uh, uh, these are our elements, um, uh, as opposed to uh, um, this identity. This, um, and this, this, what 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 it is con- constituted, and, uh, and in the, uh, I mean, there's different ways that the Buddha pointed, but certainly in the Satipatthana, then it's just the four, four physical elements: you know, earth, earth, water, fire, air. Uh, and uh, to be reflecting on that. Uh, in other discourses, the uh, the Buddha you know, so uses the four four material elements and uh, and then uh, space and four materials and space and consciousness. Uh, but these are you know, fundamental elements, and uh, and it's not sort of elements in a scientific sense but it's elements in terms of a experiential sense it's an ancient uh, way of of, of of perceiving uh, these these fundamental properties so that uh, maybe that's a, a better way of expressing it. these are properties so that they they like the earth element is is the, the property of that has uh, is has weight. It has volume. It has yeah. It takes up space. Um, the water is the is the flu fluid, but it's also the element of cohesion. And the, the property of heat is the property of of. Uh, um, it's the, uh, the warmth or, or, or cold, um, and uh, as well as kind of the, say, the fire element that is that uh, 
say, digests food and, and uh, consumes for ages um, the, uh, the, the body. It's, this is, it's, these are properties uh, that are pointed to an air element, is say, you know, both say like movement or wind or um, expansion, contraction, uh, pushing, supporting. So these are properties that we experience, and 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 um, say we as a, a being uh, uh, are. Uh, there's a mixture of these properties, and anything uh, has a uh, uh, all these different uh, anything that is physical or in this in the world around us uh, is a uh, a mixture of these elements. But to be be contemplating the experience of these these elements and and. Um, and whether it's uh, internal or external, uh, it's just in, it's, uh, the Buddha says in other suttas other than the Satipatthana, whether it's internal element or external element, uh, it is just elements. It's just this dhatu. Uh, it's not mine, it's not me, it's not myself. Uh, so it's, this is this, you know, it's such an important contemplation to be able to step back from the the that 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 that, that sense of self, the identification, the I making, the mind making, uh, that is is the the program that keeps us entangled in in in, in dukkha um, because we. You know, through the, that identification, and we, of course, we have our projections of either desire or fear or or, or uh, aversion or worry or whatever. All of that um, um, em emotional projection uh, is is built uh, on top of these assumptions of of. Of of I-ness and me-ness and my this is mine. Um, so to 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 go to the to the contemplation to the very root of what what, what are the what are those fundamental prop when we take look at those properties more clearly, um, you know, is there a, a, where's the story? The story is just being built up out of that. Uh, or the the label that we put on it. It's like in the Satipatthana Sutta. Um, the image that the Buddha gives for contemplating the elements, and, and it, you know, he's pretty terse. He doesn't talk, doesn't explain very much about the element contemplation. It just sort of says, just says earth, earth, water, fire, and air. And but he does give the image of of the uh, um, say the um, a skilled butcher or butcher's apprentice and at the uh, at the crossroads and and, and, and that uh, and having butchered a a cow and, and you know, that you know, right at at the beginning it's a cow. Um, and then uh, you know once it's it's butchered and cut up and whatnot it's it's that that sense of cowness disappears and it becomes meat or it becomes beef and i mean nobody goes to in and out and orders a beef or, you know or, or orders a cow it's, it's sort of it's hamburger um but it's that's its its origin. It's, it was it was an animal. So in the same way, the, for the, the seeing the the, the 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 recognizing how we build up a, a an image of perception and identity 
um, for ourselves, and, 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 and that uh, it's just these out of these 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 fundamental properties, and it's you know in the same way that a uh, it's like a, um, you know, a, 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 a movie, um, a movie theater, or something where, where a uh, yeah, an image is cast on a screen, uh, and of course, there's the image cast on the screen. There's the sound, the sound effects that are um, that are there, and you know the story becomes very compelling. Uh, but if for some reason the screen were sort of cut, or you know, you, all of a sudden you start realizing all, all this is is images being cast on the on the screen, then the, you know, the story becomes less compelling. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. But, uh, you know, it has to be, something has to shift that, uh, that, 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 you know, have to see through that the, the, the image and the perception and the, the whole storyline of it. Um, so in, in our, practice is having to come back and contemplate these these elements and it's important to recognize this in terms of the you know, contemplation of the elements that uh, this it is pointing to an experience how do we experience these these elements and so for the that, that recognizing the, the the properties, so that just the, as we um, contemplating the earth element, just going through the body, and then and and, and and in other suttas, um, so, you know, and what is the earth element? Uh, so, well, whatever is is of a, a solid nature, but such as hair of the head, hair of the body, nails, teeth, and skin, and the, the, in the 32 parts of the body, has, uh, the, those that pertain to that which is solid-ish, um, organs, uh, skin, bones. These are earth elements. Uh, and then the, uh, the, you know, the, the water element, um, what is the water element? It's the, of course, that which flows and which is has cohesion, but also the, um, let's say, yeah, blood, sweat, fat, grease, spittle, urine, uh, different uh, uh, aspects of the uh, uh, things in the body that are of a fluid nature. Um, same with the uh, the the fire you know, that that which is heats and cools the body that digests food, uh, air element, uh, upgoing winds, downgoing winds, the, um, in and out breath are, are the, uh, are these. But there, that's its manifestation, but its actual property, then it's starting to pay attention to it as a contemplation and saying, okay, well, you know, am I, this hair uh, 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 just taking a single strand of hair you know, like we just had uh, uh, you know our head shaving day yesterday and you know and you know, when you we shave our heads and you know, no nobody would sort of this is who I am, or you, or, 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 or oh dear, um, you know, I've lost part of myself, and it's just, it's just hair, and it's, you know, and, uh, and that, uh, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not very, like one of the things that, you know, people are pretty good here, but um, I remember years ago when I was living in Thailand, and and get uh, constantly reprimanding the monks for on head shaving day getting getting hair on the on the soap 
It just really bugged me. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, so that that uh, uh, it, it changes its quality once it's it's not a part of ourselves. So contemplating the 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 the, the, the earth element. Um, but it, it's uh, and, you know, sometimes this as we start or we begin the the contemplation, it's the, um, the that sense of um, sometimes this the beginning with it is because of beginning you know, for the most part we usually begin with the breath or as I'm in a meditation session. So they're contemplating the the nature of the breath it's a, as that movement in and out. It's just the 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 air element coming in, going out. Also, just say like pushing. Uh, uh, it's like you breathe in, and just that feeling of um, pushing. Can, you can feel that in the in the space of the head. There's just the sense of pushing, uh, and the sense of the chest or the the abdomen rising. There's just this pushing, expanding, and it's it's the the experience of the of the air element or a sense of supporting. I mean, just the the there's a like for myself and uh, like right now. There's a, I mean, it's like an external air element, uh, although it was internal. Uh, I've got, I'm sitting at my, my meditation cushion is, a, is, an, is an air cushion. So it's, uh, you know, I'm sitting on a, on a kind of a, a ball with, with, with air and it's supporting me. Uh, it's air. It has this, that capacity, its property can, can support if it's contained. Um, once it gets, once the the actual uh, material of it springs a leak, then it doesn't support anymore. It moves, it flows, it's and so it. Uh, but there's just yeah, this contemplation of the of the element and so the 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 the, uh, the the earth element, just feeling that sense of of, uh, of of say just there's hardness and softness are a part of the uh, the tangible nature of the the earth element and feeling the, the, the how we experience hardness through the body I mean it's like the uh, 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 the hardness of of the uh, uh, the physical structure and, and you know having uh, having having bones that are hard gives us some shape um, if there was um, you know, they, they didn't have that hardness and you know we'd just be kind of uh, it'd be like Shay's blobfish <laughs> 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 so it's, uh, but you know, our features get defined because of the the hardness of the of the skeletal structure. Um, you know, it's also, but there's a softness of the other tissue. So I mean, it's just this. It's just these uh, properties, uh, as opposed to this, this is me. This is mine. Um, as a, uh, elements of nature, uh, the, the sense of you know heaviness or um, uh, lightness and of density and as 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 volume has weight to it, um, or, or its opposite is sometimes being light and so you can uh, attune to these 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 experience of these. Properties, uh, 
and uh, uh, there, 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 whether it's smooth or whether it's rough, we we're experiencing it all the time. But to turn the attention in the in the way of it being just a physical property, an element, uh, and in Pali the datu. Um, so the same with with, with the, uh, in the, the uh, um, water, uh, and that's again it's the, both the the fluid element, but also the element of cohesion, because that's different. Um, when you expands it out of uh, functions, um, and uh, so just to be be contemplating in in order to help that that relinquishing of the of the the the, you know, the obsession with self, the is me, is identification, and and and. Say in a say a, say it is say in the purpose or the goal um, is a a relinquishing of that self view um, and to 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 be having that insight into the empty nature of of this thing we call me. Um, and I think it's important to, to also recognize that, that this, there's this see like in, in, in like Lumpa Chah talks about it a lot, um, you know, the insight into uh, like a relative truth and ultimate truth. And samuti satcha, paramata satcha, samuti and vimuti. Um, seeing how these exist together, um, so that there's a, um, a, a, a an access to the a, a, a transcendent truth, which doesn't mean that that we um, say ignore or dismiss the say the relative truth of you know of 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 being because uh, that can end up being an extreme as well where we're just trying to trying to live in some some kind of rarefied existence where there is there's uh, 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 not having to deal with um, the relative truths of existence, or the, that there is this this being that is a bundle of karmic tendencies that affect oneself and affect others, and so that they these these say these relative truths and ultimate truths. Uh, have to live together, and so that that um, say like wisdom and compassion have to live together. You, you don't just dwell in a, a, a some intellectual or philosophically conceptual realm. You know, the the realm of feeling. Well, the realm of interaction has to be paid attention to, um, so that that the uh, uh, the, the the Buddha, besides the say the Buddha teaching all these these wisdom teachings, insight practices, uh, Brahma Vihara practice. Uh, these are. These are very much, and the foundation of sila, um, generosity, gratitude, uh, these are all uh, qualities that need to be integrated and work together. But 
you know, they rely on each other because um, it's uh, again it's they they, uh, they the thing that keeps us entangled is the the, the not understanding uh, our our sense of the reality of 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 this being just being a part of nature uh, it's like we uh, like Ajahn Buddha Dasa is and you know we you know we're, we 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 misappropriate the, the things of nature and and, the, you know, and uh, steal them or thieves uh, and assume they're ours and so the yeah the body feeling perceptions mental formations consciousness are aspects of nature that we we take and and assume to be ours and uh, we misappropriate them, and so that contemplating the fundamental aspect of nature, the elements, the properties, and we are saying, "Yeah, this is this is not mine. This is uh, I am not this. This is not myself. It's just an um, essential insight into the the nature of Dhamma." But then, at the same time, that's uh, this the contemplation and developing of the the qualities of of say of of heart of um, and, and com- that uh, you know, compassion kindness also just the, you know, reflecting on the you know when we chant pay homage to the Buddha and it's it's quite imbe- embedded in the in the language that we chant, what we chant, Arahang Samma Sambuto Bhagawa, uh, and that's, that's paying homage to the Buddha, and that's that's paying homage to the the quality, and especially in Theravada tradition, and the the qualities that have to be integrated are purity, wisdom, and compassion. These these are the qualities that have to. They, they need to be integrated and they work together, they function together. And when they do function together, then there's, that's when the awakening, liberation from, 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 from suffering, from dukkha, uh, uh, it manifests. So it says, says like when they, these, uh, the, the, these, and those qualities are not just, say, externalized, oh, that's the Buddha from, 2,500 years ago, that, that uh, um, who has those qualities? It's those are the qualities that that the Buddha exemplified that are the path of of liberation for everyone. Um, so that, but you know, we we have to rely on tools, techniques, and methods, and practice, and that's. And we're very fortunate that we have these. So, yeah, so there's uh, uh, see, there's still time left in this retreat to make good use of that. So, offer that for reflection this evening.